Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Julia with a Jupyter Notebook. And the first thing what you need is uh, get Anaconda, go to Anaconda because that's those are the people who are uh, doing that uh, or producing that software. And in, Ana uh, in on that website you go to products individual and you then download that and install it. So you, then you would have Anaconda installed. Obviously, you also need to have uh, uh, Julia installed. And then the next step would be to go into your uh, Julia installation. Now, when you download Anaconda, it could have some kernels, so-called kernels. Each kernel is basically a sort of uh, an interpreter or application. So basically, uh, Anaconda, as far as I know, uh, comes with Python. And you need to add Julia to your um, uh, you know, Jupyter Notebook, so you're able to carry out or, or to execute Julia programs. And what you do, you go into your Julia installation, that's the current uh, Julia installation that I got, 1.40, and I just double click that. And what opens is the so-called REPL, which is basically akin to Python's interactive mode. And in there, we need now to, to, to add that, uh, to, 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 to enable our notebook to execute Julia. And what we do is two things. First of all, this command using package or pkg. And then what we need is package pkg dot add. And you add this kernel and it's basically called iJulia and close. And now what it does, it, it either updates the version you have or installs it new. And then after that, I'm not going to do it here because I've, you know, I've already have it. But uh, after finishing that, that, that process takes a while. After finishing, you're able to uh, use a notebook. And the way you do, you, I mean, you've installed Anaconda previously. So what you do, you start off Anaconda. So you see here, I've started Anaconda, and now what it does, it, it opens up a, a sort of a terminal for Anaconda, but that's not interesting. What, it, what is interesting is that we have now in our browser, sort of on a local host, we have now our uh, uh, notebook. And now what we can do, if I need to uh, do some programming in Julia, just go new, and you can see uh, all the different kernels available, and I need Julia 1.40. So I just click on that. Now I'm, what I'm getting here is a new notebook uh, specifically for uh, Julia um, uh, for Julia 1.40 and I just give it a name. Just let's call it, uh, uh, you know, Julia testing or whatever or yeah, Julia uh, codes and rename that. And now here each, each, each of this is basically one cell. Let me just do a simple, uh, simple code. Printlin. Um, uh, hi guys. And go. And now this is, for instance, one cell. If I run it, I just click on run, and it creates a new cell. And this one is run, and now it's produced the output. And if I go and uh, you know sort of mimic what we've done in a previous video, sort of uh, uh, please input your age and then uh, return and user age is a read line and then uh, print uh, your age is and then comma user age so here we've now done the program and here in this cell this is a separate sort of a separate application this is one application it's done it's produced output this is a second application and now if i run that it will print please input your age i will be able to input a, a sort of an input here which is basically the age let's say 36 and then I'd have the output. So basically here and now we have a new cell which I can, uh, you know, put in another application in there. So basically you have two ways of conducting or, you know, uh, programming in Julia. One is 
what I mentioned in previous videos, basically using um, VS Code or use uh, uh, Jupyter Notebooks. And um, to use these, what you have is basically the, 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 the programming is identical, just your user interface is different. And um, the thing about uh, Jupyter, you have to install the Anaconda uh, software and then you obviously have to install Julia and then in the REPL, in that uh, REPL environment or for the terminal, Julia's terminal, you'd have to, you know, include these two lines using package and package add I Julia. And then you're ready to go. All you got to do is then start your Anaconda software. And as you see, you land in on a, on, a, on a web browser. This is on a local server and you can go off and program your Julia. And the nice thing about um, uh, Jupyter Notebooks, they're quite interactive. They can take in user feedback, uh, user input, I mean, and, uh, you know, interact with the user by, you know, taking inputs and producing some outputs.